What's up YouTube? Boss here today. Uh, kind of a part two or kind of an ongoing series of videos I'm actually making with regard to the Asus Transformer and specifically to the base and some of the uses <coughs> that you can use the base for and have some of the, I guess, peripherals that you can plug into it. And I had a question, uh, one of the viewers on the original dock, uh, keyboard dock review, as to, hey, can I use a wireless mouse? Um, well, I actually use the, uh, this is a Logitech MX1000 mouse, which is my mouse of choice when I'm using my PC. Um, and not that I'm going to carry around that large a mouse. Um, you can use a Bluetooth mouse with this, but if you already have one and you've got the little uh, connector, such as this, the little USB connector, um, wonder will it work um, with the mouse. We can turn, make sure the mouse is on, it's moving around. Let's pop this thing in here. I'm going to just turn this around. And as I said, these things are magnetic, so they can be a little tricky initially to figure out a way to push, get them going. <clears throat> We're going to push that in and uh, get this realigned, set up. And look at that. First try, actually second try. I won't lie, I tried it before I started the video. Uh, figured I'd either, I was going to show it either working or not working, but I was just curious myself, honestly. <laughs> so I already got that going. And I'm going to zoom in as much as I can here without changing my camera angle. Scoot it up just a bit. There we go. Uh, I'll go into uh, the browser since it's easy to see. So there's your mouse. Uh, now my right, my right key for someone in here works as a back button. So when I hit this, it actually kicks me out to the home. Um, so I can't really use my right mouse key for that. Uh, but definitely works for the, the click key. And uh, again, I haven't set up. I'm not sure how to get to my... I'm going to go to Engadget since it's a nice long web page. haven't figured out how to get to my bookmarks <coughs> in the setup that I have it with with the, with the uh, quick controls. But just to show the mouse works, let's, uh, I'm going to get this in frame. I'm hitting the button. Let's try this again. Let's go to Engadget. And there you go. Middle wheel scroll. Uh, let's, you can either, if you can hear, the mouse has, you can ratchet, or you can basically click a button that frees the wheel to spin. And uh, it's really nice when you're on long web pages. And as you can tell, the uh, transformer, even on Engadget's full speed, I can spin that sucker as fast as I want. It'll scroll nice and fast. Um, so that's awesome. That is. Uh, it's a good tip from question, and I appreciate that. That's something honestly kind of didn't think of because I assumed because it was a Bluetooth or a wireless device and I had to load drivers on my PC that it probably would not work. But surprise, surprise, it works. Um, so that's the first thing. <coughs> uh, we're going to park the USB, or the mouse anyway. So what I do is, that, like I said in my other video, I kind of bring the mouse down the center on the black bar because that's always there. And I'll turn it off, and that kind of parks it where I'm functioning here. Uh, but some other people had some questions about MyNet. Um, here's what I found out so far about MyNet, just with my own experience and what I'm using it for. And I'm going to back this out a little bit. And you're not going to see the, the screen in the background here that you can see just the bottom third of back here. That's my home PC. That's what this is going to hook to. And basically what MyNet's doing, it's connecting to uh, your home folders. And I'll, I'm going to do this. We're going to kick this up to the main screen. I uh, don't have my mouse plugged in, so we'll skip that part. <laughs> I've actually got that. My main mouse is now uh, connected to my transformer. But at any rate, when you go into the start menu, and I'll show this uh, in the next video or the next segment here, you'll see where I go in and show you the settings. But on your home PC, there's default library folders called documents. I think it's documents, movies, video, and pictures. And so if you choose anything that's on your local network, this thing's going to find. So I'm going to go to uh, videos. It's going to show videos here. And I, I, there's no guarantee this has worked. This is about a 50-50 coin toss, whether this thing actually plays the video or not. But what I did is all the some of my YouTube videos and some just stuff of my dog, I've thrown on that deal. But here's a couple, like here's the actual, my Transformer doc review. Let's see if it plays. 
It says lo uh, failed to load. This one happens to work. Nope, failed to load. So I don't know. It hasn't been consistent. I don't know why it is or isn't working. There's no. You don't get a menu down here for settings. Uh, there's some stuff up here in settings. Um, media server. It says select this media type for sharing. I've uh, shared it out. So I don't know. It, it's not. It's not as intuitive and easy to use as you think it would be. And it's not a remote desktop application that's pulling that. If you want remote desktop, uh, here's the perfect way to do that. And that's use Splash Top Remote. <clears throat> Pretty much the first time you install it, I think it's $4.99 on the market. But there is actually a version of the um, of Android that will basically load this up for free from what I understand. And I'm not sure what version that is, and I'll have to do a little research on that. But uh, as you can see, instant voila, you have your desktop, as you can see in the background here. Up here is the PC, here is the RDP. And uh, unfortunately, it's not, they don't have it customized right now for 1280 by 800. So this is uh, 1024 by 768, or you can choose to go to 800 by 600. Uh, I think this is 1024 by 768. And uh, basically, you have full access. Now, when you're using an RDP, you've got to use this, you've got to move the mouse around. <coughs> so, some of the precision with my finger. So, that worked fine. And let's just show you like Hulu, which I've actually got a video up on the iPad showing this is the way to get flash video on your iPad. Basically, if you're on your home network and want to watch Hulu, but you're not sitting in front of your computer, maybe you're in your recliner or hanging out in bed before you go to sleep, whatever. Um, and as you can see in the background, and I'm going to zoom out as far as I can if I'm not already. All right, so I'm going to pan up with the camera, and I'm going to catch both screens here so you all can see the difference in just the when this one moves and when this one moves. I don't even think it's about a, there may not even be a second delay. Um, so not that it matters because you're not going to be staring at this screen when you're doing this, but just from the standpoint of how, how uh, sensitive it is and how it works is pretty good. Um, obviously you can use the back keys and take you out. So you do have to use Ah, server's busy. Hang on here. So you do have, first off, you do have to install software on your PC. It's free. It's the basically the server side. This is the client side. Um, but once you've done that, you, you do have to use the back keys within that. Um, so let's go back into Hulu. I'll just show you. I'm going to play the Saturday Night Live clip because that's what comes up. Um, when you initially install it, there are some instructions as to how to scroll, how to click. Within this RDP, a single finger is not going to um, necessarily do everything on every uh, application or every piece of software. Sometimes it's two finger scrolling, sometimes a little different. Let me just show you, we, we do have sound. So you've got sound. And depending on the volume, you've got a couple things to contend with. This little volume thing right here. See, it's all the way down. I've got to make sure that's turned up all the way. So that can be tricky. And you know what? I'm going to plug back in with the mouse while this is loading. All right, so there's that. And then I'm going to go full screen. Now, this obviously kind of kicked that up. Um, so that actually kicked it up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to shrink the screen. So now as you can see at the center of the screen I've got a black border. So what you do is just do a little pinch to zoom action. And you just kind of center it however big you want. Obviously you can over zoom it, but if you just let it fill your screen, you've got full screen Hulu. Your PC is doing all the work to decode the flash. And uh, you've got a nice easy flash solution, whereas, because it's not that these won't do, not that Android will do flash video, they do. But Motorola, I'm sorry, Hulu doesn't allow mobile devices to access their site. So it's a licensing thing, and uh, doesn't matter what Flash version you run, they're going to block it if it detects it's a mobile version. Now there is, if you go to the XDA developers, there is a version of Flash for Honeycomb 3.0 that you can put on. I know the Transformer, it worked on the Zoom, that you can access uh, Hulu directly. 
uh, from this device. It makes it look like it's a desktop client, even more so than what the user agent is, settings and this thing. And you're perfectly good to go from there. So that is uh, Splash Top, and as you can see, um, up here, the video is still running because this has taken over. Typically, if you just hit Escape on your keyboard, it returns your desktop to, uh, to what it's supposed to be. Now, it doesn't stop playing the video because I didn't tell it to do that before I left the application. So then you'd have to, uh, you'd want to shut things down if you want your computer to shut down from that aspect. Um, but uh, those are just a few things people are questioning me about. And does it work this way or that? And uh, yes, in fact, it does. And uh, works rather well. I was, you know, kind of surprised the mouse worked, but it did. So, uh, again, don't want to take up uh, too much of your time, just kind of bring you up to speed on uh, what was happening with the wireless mouse with a good remote uh, application, which is Splashtop, and um, the MyNet, which the MyNet, I would say, great idea. Um, it's free, but as we can tell, I'm going to just try it again. It might start playing. Nope. As you can see, there's still some glitches, and I don't, I don't really have a lot of setting options to tell me what's going on with the uh, the MyNet. So, lots of potential there, but not sure for me. The 499 Splash Top Remote was well worth it, and it uh, it works. And they're actually are in beta right now for the Splash Top. And I'm going to show you real quickly um, some of the advanced settings. Uh, here's where you would change your resolution. And as you can see, you've only got the two choices. They're working on, from my understanding, hopefully they're working on to port this to the Android platform to match these screens. And there is a way to set this up. Um, there is a way to set this up over 3G. Uh, I just don't have it set that way yet. If you go to, I think it's Splashtop, SplashtopRemote.com in the support section, you can find that out. So there you go. If you've got any other questions or comments, leave them. I uh, appreciate you subscribing. And uh, we'll be back soon with another video. Thanks a lot.